Welcome back, everyone. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation. You have been invited over into my living room to have a seat while we watch the official lyric video for Lost All Faith by Wren. This was put out three weeks ago. I do have a Wren reactions playlist, my reactions to his music. So absolutely, that will come up at the end of this video. Please check that out. Uh, what else do I have to say? It's been a while since I have reacted to his uh, music. I think the last one that I reacted to was Murderer when that came out, so maybe a, a couple of months ago. And uh, I, I'm kind of wanting to get back into um, doing more of his music. I have, as you guys know, have so many artists, independent artists that I'm reacting to and creating videos um, about that uh, I just... Sometimes the too many puzzle pieces. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, um, I think that's it. Please, hey, uh, you guys, I do have a Patreon page. It is up and running, and it is being built uh, into something really good. Right now, you can get in on the ground level, and you get access to everything that's there. Uh, some, of the, some of the things you do get when you come in uh, $5 a month as a general patron. You get two reaction videos a month that you can request of me. You get to uh, direct message me. You also get early rea uh, early access to all the videos that, that I would put up. And uh, right now, uh, whatever exclusive content is there, uh, keep in mind tiers will be added and, and more perks and things will be tweaked and, and um, adjusted as needed. But uh, you also... If you get in there now, uh, you can be one of the, uh, I would call, founding patrons who's going to be able to kind of influence the direction of, uh, of the art that I create, which mainly are music reactions, right? But there are so many other things, and I do have other things there uh, as well. So there you go. Check it out. That information is in the description box below. Lost all faith. Hmm. This promises, as always, to be interesting from Ren. Here we go. So this is moving really quickly for me, and uh, the lyrics are coming up really fast too. So I want to get go back a little bit and and see what's going on here. To me, it sounds like he's doing kind of a um, he's representing two different uh, mindsets here: his and and his fans of how they always want to you know they want his time basically. <laughs> his nerves by plotting the day that he might leave this earth so he's he gets oh wow okay my leaders, uh, i lift up my eyes to the hills pain is my shepherd my sword and my shield i find my refuge in patience and pills a patient is patiently waiting for help it's interesting because he's making reference to to psalms 
and and to what David King David wrote about that the Lord is my refuge and my rock and my shield and my buckler and my you know and here he's he's saying no it's it, how did he put it pain is my shepherd my pain sword and my shield I find my refuge in patience and pill he finds his refuge in patience and pills so the worldly way of doing things a patient is patiently waiting for not patience though because patience is 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 a virtue and it's a godly virtue but his patience is being derived through the pills the pharmaceuticals that he's taking reference to some political things here too and, but he's also making a lot of reference to the personal struggles the health struggles that he's been through so I find this very interesting to me it sounds like he's he's taking a lot of these um, these ideas and kind of conflating them together into this overall concept <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but I don't know where he's going to end his sentences. And he's so quick in his, his delivery and transition. But I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of um, a lot of this back and forth. Like there's sort of a, this duality in his mind where he's he's t trying to tell himself to to pull himself together and be a certain way, but at the same time he's like, man, I can't because this is kind of how I am, um, based on all of the the background that we know of what he's he's going through, what he has gone through. In a prism life and shot the iris of the land, make believe and play pretend. God's my witness at the end. With God as my witness, I walk through the valley of the shadow of sickness. I fear no evil, I need no forgiveness. Deliver me from temptation, he never listened. Oh, 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 so he's struggling. This is this is faith he's struggling against. This is God that he's struggling against. How he's saying that there's some filter on his voice kind of gave up on faith at the end there that's what he did with his voice, but that's poignant to what his point is, right? Okay, so yeah, 
he's this is clearly he's struggling with faith uh and 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 about the the burning the border and and uh crave disorder versus uh law and order i was kind of putting a more of a political spin on that but i, I think maybe he was he was making reference to that but in a way that he was defining kind of what's going on in, inside him but he he sometimes you have to make a connection to something that other people understand in order to have that that metaphor make sense okay does that make sense and i think that's what he was doing there um but clearly this is a struggle he's saying listen i've lost my faith i've lost all my faith he's making a lot of biblical references to Psalm 23 and other Psalms that uh, that David had had written. And that is, faith is a struggle, man. It really is. Um, but, but it has a payoff, a huge payoff in the end. It does. And we all go through the valley of the shadow of death. Like he's kind of going through, right? And he's highlighting that a little bit. And he's talking about how he just kind of, to calm himself through all the, the pain and all the things that he's going through, he contemplates how he might leave this earth one day. He contemplates his own, you know, taking his own life. Um, you know, this this man never fails to put it all out there to be as honest as he can with everyone. I don't necessarily... Um, this His kind of music, for me, is really good to just listen to and... I, and analyze and to kind of get into what's going on in another person's head. This isn't the kind of music that I put on for entertainment, for background music. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, it just isn't for me. But it, it's kind of like NF, right? NF kind of goes down this road. Samson goes down this road. Subject matter is different, but it's so personal, upfront, in your face, not holding anything back. Um, but it's expressive. I guess more in, I don't want to say, do I want to say in a positive light? I, it can be a catharsis to the artist to get these thoughts out like that. Uh, but when it becomes kind of, when it highlights the internal chaos of a human, another human being, is that always positive? Well, it's certainly not a song that's uplifting that you're going to put in if you're feeling down and you want to feel better. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but it's it fascinates me in so much as he has the courage to put it all out there in spite of what people would say. I mean, at the very beginning, he's he's highlighting it like, hey, man, you know, I, oh, you're that sick boy guy. You're really, you're really famous. I want to have an autograph with you. I want a picture with you. I want to... And he's just like, back off. I got things going on. I'm in this, it's it's almost like a self-healing type catharsis. The reason he's doing this stuff. That's the way it comes off to me. I haven't I haven't read any of his stuff other than his, his post on when he lost his friend. Um, and a little bit about uh, the medical issues that he's he's faced. But I'm not down that that Ren trail far enough to know, you know, everything about him uh, and everything that he's 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 gone through. I certainly haven't listened to his interviews or live broadcasts or anything like that. What I'm picking up is just what I'm getting out of the messages that he's he's sending to us. And I think these are important messages for him to express. I think this is uh, sort of a, a self-healing path. That he has uh, and he's on a journey he's searching for something and in this song he's saying I I'm at this point where I've lost faith right now because I've been so sick and I've been I've been on pills and I'm told to, to have to wait and and man I tell you God's gonna make you wait in his waiting room because he's doing bigger things and and, and he requires faith he requires faith from you and so it does it does have its immense challenges. I know I've gone through it in certain aspects of my life, and I still go through it, all right? 
But as I get through each challenge, I find that my faith is edified and I come out a little bit stronger and a little bit better. Is everything going to work out the way that I want it? No. Why? Because it's a broken world. Um, but I do know you. it requires faith to get through this journey. So that's all I have for this one. Thank you guys for tuning in. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Remember Romans 8.28. Like, subscribe, and share. And um, I hope to see you on Patreon. There you go. Talk to you later. Bye.